welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. I gotta tell you, in the last day or so, the last 24 hours since the last video, I have been rather on the busy side. Well, for one thing, if you'll recall, when I removed the thermal generators from up there because I was going to move them, I managed to break one, which left me with one, and some machine parts. And, uh... So I went and I made more. I made 51 more for a total of 52 thermal generators. I also made a couple of more MFSUs. As a matter of fact, I have the makings here for mo most of the makings for three more, although I'm short on Lapatron crystals. The reason I'm short on Lapatron crystals is I'm short on the makings on the copper cable needed to make electronic circuits. Uh, now it's true I could go to spawn and use the uh, assembly table and lasers there to make uh, autarkic gates which could be used in place of the electronic circuits and as a matter of fact yesterday I did do that uh, DMAC was by here and uh, he was uh, giving me some pointers and helpful information about some Greg Tech machines and whatnot and he left a portal here for the time being, temporarily, that I could use to uh, get back to spawn a lot quicker than that 4,000 block run. And I did take advantage of that, and I made uh, something over a hundred autarkic gates, and then proceeded to use most of them in the process of making these thermal generators. And uh, so on. But the portal is down now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do it with the electronic circuits. Of course, another reason I can't make electronic circuits, well, is there's the copper cable. And the reason I can't make copper cable is because I have one copper ingot left. Now, as you'll recall in the last video, I believe it was, this chest... Okay, there was some stuff in this one that had overflowed. And this one was absolutely full. It was right about half of it was iron and I had as much copper then as I do lead now and uh, I have been going through it like crazy and so one of the things I need to do today is to get the quarry set up and running again and I also need to get this set up going as a matter of fact let's go ahead and get the thermal generators going. Get them placed and get these two new MFSUs in place. Alright, so thermal generators. And this is going to be the layout. Oh no. Fortunately, I have my electric wrench. Let's just make sure it's in lossless mode. Lossless mode enabled. Take it off the hotbar to prevent accidents. And be a lot more careful about placement. for for a moment. Let's see, liquiduct to provide the lava that is going to run these things. I 
could just go down here like so. Alright, finish up this side. there. Alright, now let's see. I need to provide a lava line for it, so I'm just going to break this. And I should have broke the one over. And I'm just going to run liquiduct up here across the ceiling. So, and then this may be wasteful or not the most efficient way, but I'm just going to leapfrog it over there. Whatever. May not look the greatest, but it should work. So when I crank the lava on, that should do the trick. Okay, now, MFSUs what's going to store all that power. And here we want to break that one and that one. And we have one go there and we have one go there. And we use our wrench probably from down below. to point the output spots down and now let's disconnect that take that off of there alright and now I want to move this one. First, let's, uh, let's get this wrench recharged. Because moving these things costs a lot of power. And speaking of power, I don't want to lose the power that's in it. So I'm going to run a cable. can get a decent view on it there. Now that should be draining power from this one and charging these. Good. And that way when this one's drained I can move it up here and put it next to these and it'll be it will be part of the new power bus. Okay, and these over here, of course, will be solar panels, and they'll be connected to the power bus as well. And the solar panels are, of course, unfortunately going to have to wait, because I do have the carbon plate and the silicon plates to make them with, but I'm seriously short on copper needed for making circuits and stuff like that, as in I'm just about out of it. So, I'll be getting to that soon enough. Okay. Let's see, how's that going? That's going to take a while. So, while that drains into these, let's get the quarry set up. Or moved, actually. And uh, I'm going to not move it exactly to where I originally thought I was going to. Because I was going to move it down to that far corner over there. But now that I'm using these magmatic engines to not only for quarry power, but also to power these farms, I don't want to move this setup right now. It would be much handier just to leave it where it is.
so we'll just take the quarry down and let's see where to put it actually I'm thinking perhaps a good place is going to be right over here and uh, hmm Actually, I was kind of thinking to put it up. All right, let me see here. Uh, let's see. I think I can make... Yeah, I was going to put it up so that it would take out this or at least a piece of this hill here and the stuff on it and I might still do that I'm gonna have a look see what I've got in the way of resources for making some more redstone energy conduit and maybe move this setup closer to the farms it's powering and if I come up with a redstone conduit to do it, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have a look at my resources, and I'll be back. All right. I was just looking around, and I do believe I have the wherewithal to make some more conduits. Because I can power these machines with that redstone energy cell. So let's see where we are. Obsidian and lead. I just need to pulverize some obsidian and pop it in here with the lead and I will get some hardened glass which I can then make into redstone energy conduits and I'll be back in a bit when I have that alright just about got enough of the hardened glass I figured I'd go ahead and make a stack of the energy conduit it's too handy not to have a lot of it around so even if I'm making more than I need right now, I will eventually need it, so... Okay. Let's see, 16 of these hardened glass and 32 electrum. We'll get me a stack of empty energy conduit. I'm going to need two stacks of redstone. And I'm going to need this sucker. And I think I have a few. Yeah, I did have a few of them. Okay, I already got them out. So we'll pop these things down here. Put the energy cell down. Wrench that sucker. Check its output. That should be fine. Drop some redstone in here. And drop the empty energy conduits in there. Two redstone dust per energy conduit. And now I'm going to be doing something I seem to do a lot of these days. And that is babysitting this machine, feeding more redstone into it. You know, babysitting one machine after another feeding more stuff into it. I know I could stick a hopper on here, but I don't have anything else to do at the moment. I'm really kind of stuck until uh, I have all these conduits. So, I'm going to hang on to this. Just chill out here and wait for this stuff to be ready. And then we'll get that quarry set up and running. Alright, just about have this finished here. Okay, one stack of redstone energy conduit. Let's turn the power back down on this. And disconnect it. In fact, I think I will drop it over here to recharge. Alright, now, one more thing I need to do. It occurred to me that if I start the quarry up, those recyclers are going to be running. And, oh yeah, I have to do something down here first. So let's wrench that. Let 
the lava head up there. And I'm going to put another liquid up here. And I want to move this MFSU. Now that it is pretty much essentially drained and the power has been split between these two. So, shift, right click. Go down here and pick the thing up. And set it down in its new position. here, break the glass, and bring that down here, and hook it up to the power. connect the output slot those over here to the transformer and uh, that way machines over here will be able to run okay now let's go get the quarry working who has a flat jet pack. It's a good thing I carry a spare. Just for such occasions. It's a good thing I wasn't over lava or something. Okay, where are we at here? Y87. Okay. That will be fine. And I think what I'm going to do is start right here. I'll be right in line with this so I can tap off this conduit. Here, I'm at Y64, so I've got enough conduit to do that. up to 81 let's just go a little bit more that will be fine all right now temporarily or actually like so. And we'll drop a bit more dirt actually. Okay. Pop the first landmark there. Activate it with a lever head over here to pop the second landmark.
landmark there. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this down. And I'm going to do the same thing over there. And I'll be back when I've got that taken care of. All right, I've got my other two markers in place now. So I take that off and right click this and there is the bounding box for where the quarry is going to do its thing. All right, let's make a little bit of a platform here. And we will set the quarry no, not thermal generators. Quarry. There. And now... Yeah. I am going to have to move that conduit. Because it's either that or move the quarry markings and... I'd rather move the conduit because it's one block far in and that means that the quarry would try to quarry its power supply and that's no good. So we'll just run the pipe up here. Tesseract on top of the quarry. Go ahead and get that set up. And the conduit here. Alright, that's good. Quarry has power. The clearing robot is busy. Alright. building quarry frame already. Excellent. This means that all this stuff here, these trees and whatnot, they'll get quarried out as well. Which, frankly, works for me. And this will be another one that I won't have to be concerned about putting water into it and whatnot to keep there from being problems with it running into lava because that's not going to happen. And by starting this high up I'm guaranteed to include all of the layers at which copper occurs. Copper being one of the main reasons I'm starting this thing back up because I'm completely out of the stuff. Alright, this thing's going to start running anytime now and I'll be back when it does. All right, quarry frame is just about finished. It's barely at the uh, limit of draw distance, but it's just about there. And we'll have quarry arm any time now. Okay, quarry arm is running. And clearing out these initial top layers is actually, I'm quite sure, going to be very fast. So, head back over here to the factory to the receiving end of what's coming out of that quarry and I can update you on how things are going down there. Real quick, there was one thing I forgot to do and that was to wrench this to activate these generators. We now have a bunch of power being generated. This is excellent. Now let's go down here and see where it's being used. Okay, we have our quarry input here. It's, there's going to be a lot of time now initially where there isn't much coming in from it because there's a lot of open space at those higher levels. And meanwhile, 
I have made some changes here to the way the sorting machine is set up. I have a, uh, I guess that's a lime green, whatever, a lime green filter color now, where I'm taking all of these things and routing them up here into these barrels. And I've even had the turtle dig out a space over here where I'm going to be expanding this barrel system. I haven't even gotten in all the barrels that I want to put in here. I'm going to be putting a lot of them. This is going to be the main master warehouse. And uh, items that get painted white that the thing doesn't know what to do with, those and only those will go into the chest. I think we've got some spruce wood it doesn't know what to do with. And uh, all these other assorted things that don't have any kind of filtering set up as of yet or barrel assignments. And so, all of that's going in there. Now, on the recycling side, we have cobble, dirt, and gravel that go down the dark green line. Dark green comes over here, and I've got these barrels set up here like this because they become the closest available legitimate inventory for those three items. Two for cobble, two for dirt, and one for gravel. When those barrels are full, items will not be eligible to be sent down there and they will end up coming through the restriction tube here to the recycler input chest. All I have to do, and it's already loaded with gravel, is start a timer going. It'll pulse every four seconds. Every four seconds it'll pull stuff out of there, send it through here to the recyclers, And the recyclers are loading up. Four recyclers running full bore with overclockers. You can see a stack of stuff is going through very quickly. And it is now producing scrap at a very quick rate. So I expect to generate a lot of scrap about this out of this. And I'm also figuring that I'm going to end up extending this uh, scrap barrel system at least with another row of five barrels so that I have room to hold all the scrap that I'm probably going to generate out of this and uh, sometime soon I'm hoping to start making progress toward the construction of an actual mass fabricator part of the uh, thing that I've been doing like the reason for all those generators up there and the additional MFSUs, which uh, there are going to be more of them. That one's up to a million already. This one's up to 4.7 and this one's up to 4.2. Alright, so these generators are not having any problem keeping these things going. And judging from the occasional black ones, that tells me that my lava supply is just barely able to keep up with it which is fine for the time being. That means there will be plenty of power for the recyclers to do their thing. Let's see. Now it's, a, it's a little early for ores to be showing up. Let's see. Let me charge my jetpacks. Get my jetpacks charged up and head back out to the quarry and see how things are going there. Oh, and before I head out to the quarry for one last look there, I do want to address the issue of the solar panels. I have one made already and I have this crafting table set up to make 63 more. I've got the carbon plate, I've got the silicon plate, I've got the glass panes. What remains is I need 63 generators which is going to be 63 batteries, 63 furnaces, and 63 machine blocks. And by the way, using this formula costs the same as making that one. It's just this is one fewer steps. And uh, then I'm going to need either so two stacks of electronic circuits or a couple of stacks of autarkic gates or iron ore gates or something like that. Once I get those made and get that going, I will get the 
63 stole get my stack of solar panels going up top side and we'll have power coming from that during the daylight hours and now off to the quarry all right quarry is going it's working the hilltop now looks like uh, yeah, it's taking a bigger chunk of land with each layer, and very soon there won't be any more trees or logs for it to grab. It's already down to where it's grabbing stone and gravel, yeah, stone and gravel in addition to the dirt, so this thing's going good, and I expect to soon have, once again, enough copper and other resources to get going with the next step of things, which, in spite of the fact that I'm not particularly thrilled with Greg Tech, my next step is going to be making some Greg Tech machines. My, that sounds like fun. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.